y'all helped me in a lot of ways than you think they did. I, when I first got here, I was battling a lot at home as far as homelessness, as far as custody issues, court, everything. Like my whole life was like pretty much downhill, pretty much. Um, the counselor there helped me. Went through every court date that I went to. They always had a letter for me, so I had to go with me. Um, being here became a sanctuary once I fell in love with Weldon. It became something like when I'm mad, I want to weld. If I'm sad, I want to weld. If I'm happy, welding it out. Um, as far as staff, it always supported me. Whether it was through good times or bad times, I came here a couple times crying and everyone rushed through and helped me and tried to figure out ways to help me and it was pretty much creating deadlines for myself as far as um as far as search though like they give you six months to finish search but i'm like no i want to have two search today i'm finishing two search today tomorrow i'm doing three tomorrow i'm doing two that's why i'm graduating with 12 because yeah i'm graduating with 12 because I really worked hard for it and I was consistent every day. I wasn't doing a normal 3 to 10 hours like I was supposed to. I was here from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. I was here every single day and if, to be honest, the weekends was open, I would probably be here on weekends too. I made sure I, I was able to commit to welding because welding is not something that you can just come in one day and be like, okay, I'm a welder. Like You have to have consistency, you have to have determination. You have to at least like your craft because it's not easy. It's really not. Right now, I got a job at JSI. I'm gonna be a TIG welder, a TIG welding aluminum, making 27 an hour. Um, it's long days, long nights, pretty much it's six days a week. Uh, I get an awesome per diem. I get lodging. <laughs> I, I get it all. So. It's amazing.